Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius. Let's see what mid-June looks like for y'all. This is going to be general, so it could be love, career, money. We're just going to see what pops out from spirit and the most important energy that they want you to know. If you want to look just at love, uh, I'm going to put the extended reading link below and we're going to see how the person on your mind feels about you. All right, Aquarius, hang out to the end of the reading. I have a special announcement to make. I hope it makes you smile. I think it just may. Also, too, real quick, if you want to participate in the July 1st webinar, the details are below for that as well. You can register uh, through PayPal. I'll put all the info below. We're going to learn some tarot spreads, spend a couple hours together. So if you're interested in that, you can uh, look below in the description box and in the comment section and figure out how to register for that. It's easy. Easy peasy. I would love to see you all there. All right, let's, let's get started. Coming into the reading, what do we got? We've got the hanged man, so Pisces energy. Some of you could be Aquarius, Pisces, Cuspers. What's the influence to that hanged man? You got the eight of pentacles. All right, Aquarius, what's on your mind for the next few weeks? You've got the hierophant. We've got some Taurus energy there. What happened in the recent past? What happened? Ten of Pentacles. What's the situation? Why is everything going down? Ooh, the Ace of Cups. All right. Is somebody falling in love? Could be new love coming in for some of you. Coming into the near future, what will you experience, Aquarius? Knight of Swords in reverse. So there's your air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. By the way, if you're new here and you're like, Mom, what the hell? Why aren't you explaining the cards? I like to lay all the cards out, get a feel for what they're telling us, and then we'll go through it. All right, how do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? Six of Pentacles. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? You've got the Nine of Wands. What's going on in your hopes and fears? Ace of Wands. Got a couple aces here, which, you know, represents, you know, something new, something that you're passionate about, taking a taking some action and getting excited. What's the outcome? What can you expect? Page of Cups. Yeah, I definitely feel like uh, some of you Aquarius have a new love offer coming in. Doesn't mean you'll take it. It doesn't even mean we're headed off to Vegas to get married. It just means that there is a potential love offer. Others of you, this is something that you've been thinking about for a while, something that you're kind of, you've been dreaming about. That Page of Cups is new energy along with these aces but it also represents you know, following your dream, right? Kind of daydreaming or having a goal that you wanna pursue here. And it's something that you would have been thinking about here for a while. So let's see what's going on. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What does Aquarius need to know for the rest of June? It's all happening because of the Ace of Cups. So again, that fresh new energy can be falling in love or new love. But also too, again, for some of you, this will be work. This will be something that you do that you have to put some sort of effort into and then you reap the benefits of it. But again, it would be on the newer side or a new idea. Some of you, it has something to do with you know, your spirituality, right? Some of you are offering you know, like a side hustle or a side business or you're going to be. That hierophant on your mind, guess what? It's not just a commitment or a relationship. The Hierophant is also a guide, a teacher, teaching something. And it can be spiritual or religious. Others of you, again, there's a long-term relationship coming in, a commitment. It's all over the reading. All right. What does Aquarius need to know? What does the rest of June look like for Aquarius? All right. Let's check it out. So coming into the reading, we've got the Hanged Man. So this is Pisces energy. What's this about? Why is this Hanged Man here? and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, on the business front or the way that you make money, something that you do for your job, Aquarius, you feel a little bit stuck. You feel like you're giving more to a situation than you're receiving. There's an imbalance here. Others of you have no idea there's a new relationship coming in and you're just kind of waiting around. You're like, I'm tired of giving to people that you know they're not giving back. There's this imbalance. I'm not doing it. I'm only accepting offers where I know right away somebody is going to put forth the effort. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? 
five of pentacles yeah a lot of you are working hard to achieve some sort of goal and again i feel like it would be on the newer side and it ha again it has something to do with kind of getting you out of the cold when it comes to finances a lot of you feel like you're paying more you know for bills or more money is going out than is coming in so there is something i don't think it'll be completely a new job for some of you could i think it's something in addition to what you're already doing and again others of you are just buying your time until the right person comes along and it will be a relationship it will be something that's quite traditional what's on your mind aquarius you've got this here of thought and the eight of swords stuck right that eight of swords is kind of your thoughts the swords are communication it's your mental energy it's your thoughts but it's just you feel stuck like you're thinking about something over and over and over and it's because of the hierophant so some of you again are just frustrated with people that you've allowed into your life in love and you're putting that energy at a stalemate what's this eight of swords you're moving forward page of swords online page of swords Again, there's your air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Page of Swords is a student of the deck. What is he doing? He's curious. He's uncovering. He's researching something online. And with the Hierophant, it has something to do with guiding others, teaching others, educating. Some Somebody here is thinking about um, going back to school and becoming certified in education. I'm just saying. And that looks really good. Also, the pages can represent children. Again, others of you are, you know, that page of swords can be a little bit angry. It's like, you know what? I'm just sick of dealing with people. If you're not coming at me with something traditional, just go away. What happened in the recent past? You've got a ten of pentacles. What's this about? And the devil. Major for Capricorn. Why is the ten of pentacles with the devil here? And the star. There you are. Aquarius energy. Oh man, that's like, and a lot, you won't hear this a lot, but it's true. That devil can be like an obsession towards work or a new business or an idea. It's like you're, you know, and it's because of that 10 of pentacles. So this is really thinking about long-term. This is like, I can, this is something that I can do for many, many years to come. And it's going to bring a lot of financial stability. I can grow this. And with the devil, I think in the recent past, a lot of you were putting a lot of effort and energy into whatever this dream is that you're pursuing. And it's something that you really, really want. It started to manifest here in the recent past. That star is, of course, hope, you know, faith that a situation will work, but it's also setting your sights on a dream. The star can literally be you're in the spotlight in some way as well. And I think a lot of you were really, really just putting everything into this. And whether, it start, whether it, you know, it's happened yet, I don't know. But the Ace of Cups is here. We know the energy is here that something's manifesting. Others of you, um, <laughs> you may have met somebody recently and one of you right away was like, oh my God. This is what I've been waiting for. This is the person that I could see myself with. You know, it's almost like daydreaming or having these like fantasies about how, like literally picturing it in your head. And it's all about this Ace of Cups. So why is this Ace of Cups here? This is why everything's happening. And the Hermit, sign of Virgo. Very slow energy, very wise energy. Another card of spirituality, but also that Hermit is investigating. He's researching. Some of you, you're thinking about doing something here that helps others heal as well because the Ace of Cups is very healing energy. And the Hermit is taking his time, he's very slow, he's looking into something, he's, again, very wise, really researching something. And it, it could be like a solo thing, right? Like something, obviously, that you're just doing on your own. What's this hermit? Others of you, again, while you were envisioning what a long-term commitment, like that partner would look like, like literally manifesting it, you were working on yourself as well. Why is this hermit here in the foundation for Aquarius? What is it? Yeah, see, look, work, the Eight of Pentacles. Beautiful, putting energy, 
researching, doing what you need to do behind the scenes, because this is something that you really want to do, that you want to move forward with. Coming into the near future, you'll experience this Knight of Swords in reverse. What's this about? Here's your air energy and the good old water uber, also known as the chariot on this channel. Cancer energy, success. You're going to experience success and forward movement. And it's something, though, with the Knight of Swords in reverse, you're going to make sure you, you have everything in order. Like, you're really taking your time towards this. And that's why coming in the near future, that Knight of Swords in reverse is not acting on impulse. Kind of pulling back, right? Like, not rushing into some, anything because, again, you're taking your time. You want to make sure that you do this correctly. For some of you, it may not even be, you know, money. It could be like charity or helping others in some way. But I think for the most part, there's some sort of return in, of an investment here. And you see it. You're moving forward towards this. But you will be cautious. You see yourself right now as the Six of Pentacles. Again, a very charitable energy. Giving to others. But also like giving your service but receiving something in return. What's the Six of Pentacles about? And the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, again, some of you, and if you haven't already, there's like this idea of something new, again, that you're really excited and passionate about. And it's going to help balance out your finances. Because this Two of Pentacles can be, I'm wobbly, right? I'm having to budget. I'm moving money here. I'm moving money there. You know, I'm making decisions for the future when it comes to money. But you see yourself as wanting to give to something here. Others of you are starting to think, you're thinking about dating, you're thinking about opening yourself up, and I think that's why you'll be cautious, but there is victory coming. What's going on in your environment? What's coming in that you don't see yet? You've got the Nine of Wands with the King of Swords, Aquarius, card of Aquarius. Could be another air sign coming in too. Nine of Wands, King of Swords, Three of Wands. See, so your ships are coming in. Something that you're manifesting is happening. If this relationship isn't another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, it's just somebody that's very mature, they're a good communicator, very intelligent. Sometimes that king of swords is a lawyer, a doctor, police work, something like that. But this person is super intelligent, can hold down a conversation. With the nine of wands though, again, I think that you're just, you're kind of tired of dealing with people who aren't bringing that relationship. And so you're going to be on guard a little bit. But there's somebody in your environment. I saw it here with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Finally, ships are coming in. Again, others of you are that King of Swords energy, and you're manifesting something here that really gives a beautiful energy to others, but also is going to help you financially. What's going on in your hopes or fears? You've got the Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups, very healing energy, very emotional right but when she's in the upright she's spiritual she's you know intuitive she's full of love there's a spark in your emotions aquarius the rest of june i'm telling you and it has something to do with you giving to others and also being ready to as far as relationships being ready to offer that love now the queen of cups that cup is closed she's going to use her intuition she feels the spark and the attraction but she's only going to open that cup when her intuition tells her it's time to do so. She's also very healing energy. So this is, you know, you giving to others as well. Again, and something here that I think you've put a lot of thought and energy. You may even be seeking advice on how to get this started, but you're putting in a lot of work. What's the outcome here? We've got a page of cups. So with that page, something new, whether this is love or pursuing some sort of dream. What's this page of cups? He's communicating as well, but, and the four of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, those cups with the emotion. Why is the page of cups here in the outcome with the four of cups and the 10 of cups? Look at that. Now, and they're all cups. So again, in this outcome, we see a beautiful energy of being emotionally content right? Something that makes you very, very happy. With this Four of Cups, I think that's you, Aquarius, having some doubt. Because again, you're starting small. It's going to take a little while to build. But look what you get to is this Ten of Cups. Something comes in that makes you super, super happy. And I also feel with that Four of Cups, a lot of you giving your time and energy 
to others who feel a little bit dissatisfied. That four of cups can also be mild depression. And then you're bringing in this 10 of cups to help somebody. It, you're making somebody feel really, really good. And at the same time, it's helping you to build more stability, more financial stability. Others of you, this is a new love offer that's coming in. It could lead to a lot of happiness with that 10 of cups. I think a, some of you are a little bit unsure where you want to take this. What's going on here? How does this love look like for Aquarius? The Empress in reverse, Taurus energy. I think that that Empress is in reverse when it comes to love and relationships because I think a lot of you are focusing a lot of your time and attention on work, something on the side, something where you're helping others, you're trying to get your finances better. There is a commitment or somebody in here who wants around you who wants to be with you. I feel like that outcome though is you kind of putting it on pause. It doesn't mean forever. I just don't see you for the rest of June giving a lot of um, like nurturing that connection or really wanting to expand or grow as of yet. Your primary focus for the rest of June will probably be on something, you know, career, again, money, something like that, charity, helping others. So you're not really feeding a love connection for the rest of June. It's here, there's an offer. But I think for the most part, a lot of you, as far as relationships go and your love life, will see this start to move forward more in July, if you want it. Some of you are like, F it, I don't want it. I got other plans, I'm focusing on in other areas. Something new and something that makes you really happy and helps others heal in some way. So if you're watching this and you're like, mom, what the hell are you talking about? This isn't my reading. This is starting to manifest. If you're thinking about any of this, you need to go towards it because I've got newness all over this reading. And if you're still like, hey, mom, this doesn't make sense. Check out your rising or your moon sign. <laughs> and the extended reading will see in love person on your mind, how they feel about you. What's their action? What are they thinking? How will it all play out for the rest of June? Are they gonna leave a sticky note on your windshield or are they gonna actually pick up the phone and call you, Aquarius? We'll find out over there. All right, y'all, now, as far as the announcement I wanted to make, so I'm doing this thing here over the next couple weeks where I'm actually putting mail, like a card or a postcard in the mail with a stamp and send it. Remember those days? Can you believe it? So what I'm doing, if you're interested in receiving a little, a couple lines from me, maybe even some advice from uh, the tarot, we'll see, right? Um, all you have to do is email me. My email's all over my channel. Shoot me over an email and I will do it. I'll put you on the list. I'm sending out postcards daily to people. Just a few words of advice or wisdom just to make you smile. You know what? You open up your mailbox and you get some mail that's not a bill. It kind of feels good, right? So if you're into that, email me, give me your address. If you don't feel comfortable giving your address, you can give me a PO box as well. All you need to do, a couple things. In the comment section, you need to let me know where you're watching from. What part of the world are you from? I wanna know. I, I think it's so fascinating to, to see where everybody's from. And then email me with your address. And uh, you know, it'll be a little while because I'm, I'm a little backed up on these. I mean, I'm getting a lot of requests for those. So give it a little time. But um, yeah, at some point this summer, you will open up your mailbox and it'll be mom. And I'll say, hey, Aquarius, just kidding, whatever your name is, and uh, give you some words of advice. And uh, yeah, so let's do it. All right, other than that, y'all, if you need a private reading, those are open as well, and the link is below to book your private reading. All right, y'all, I will see you over on the extended. I love you hard, love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.